Hello, and welcome to Mr. Clicks Flicks. I'm your host, as always, Mr. Clicks, working every day to bring you the best Hero Clicks channel available on YouTube. And today we're going to go ahead and do a uh, battle report of my venue's um, Wolverine and the X Men release day win a brick tournament. So, what we did was two boosters sealed, and uh, what you pulled is what you got to play. So, my pools were um, Sauron. Layla Miller, Polaris, Shadow King, I ended up with two of him, um, Oracle, Mojo, uh, Deathlock, I ended up with two of him also, and then Cyber. So, I wasn't really happy with my pools, but I figured, you know, we'll go ahead and roll with it and see what I can come up with. So, we did 400 points, and I built under points just because I didn't feel like I could get like raid on the points with anybody so uh, I ended up playing um, Shadow King, Polaris, Sauron, and Oracle and I didn't really know anybody's dial too good you know whenever I picked these up I tried to not know all the dials um, before release day that way you know a few surprises but the general idea was uh, have Oracle carry um, Shadow King around uh, and so that he can mind control people and she has PC so that he can re-roll his mind control. Have Polaris TK out Sauron so that he can charge in on a weak character and heal up to, to that nasty top click. He's a little expensive but he he did really good for me. I I liked him a lot. I'd run him again. So um, if you watch my unboxing video, you know that I ended up winning. Um, the first match was really tough. It ended up being just a a battle of positions. The guy had um, yeah, he almost had a um, Hellfire Club uh, theme team. He had uh, Black Queen, Black King, uh, Mirage which is what I think was breaking theme for him. And that might have been, he might have had one other person I'm not thinking of. But he just did such a good job with positioning. We got caught in one spot and basically neither one of us could move without giving up position to the other guy. And, um, you know, I just kept trying to mind control with, uh, Shadow King to, uh, get, uh, Black King to attack um, Black Queen PC my rolls uh, Sauron took out um, Mirage real fast I just ran him right up on her uh, KO'd her in like two or three hits it wasn't that bad and uh, got him up to full health so he could join the main fight uh, and then that was about it I didn't lose anybody uh, I think uh Shadow King might have taken a click of damage. And that's because I kept him based. Because he has a special on his uh, defense where if he's based with somebody and they attack him, it's uh, all, I think it's all but, it's either ignored or reduced to one. And then you roll a d6 and uh, on a certain roll, I think it's four, five, or six, it's, he takes no damage. Or, well, he heals a click. So you take a click, heal a click. So, basically, take no damage, which was pretty sick. And whenever I based them with people, uh, they did that. And something else that caught a lot of people um, off guard is that uh, whenever he uses mind control, his range isn't a 5, it's a 10. So, a lot of people were counting squares from him, thinking he could only do 5. They'd run into range, not knowing it. Mind control, and uh, that would be it. You know, I'd do something with their guy, beat up their own team. Uh, Polaris... And I'm not doing too much. She used some TK to uh, reposition people, and uh, I think one or two games, like she did some running shot and just standard attack. That was about it. So I won the first game. It was just a position strategy battle. Uh, I think if the other guy would have rolled a little bit better, he he missed quite a few rolls. Um, he might have won. But that's part of Hero Clicks is, you know, you can have the best strategy in the world, but if you roll three all day, you're not very likely to win. Uh, next match, I went up against the uh, tag team duo of Common Deathlock 
and super or uh, Chase Cyclops Phoenix empowered, and that was probably the scariest match I had all day. Um, it was just I, I'm still not sure how I won. I hit every single attack roll I tried to make. I don't think I had to use PC on any of my attack rolls. I I used PC on some of his stuff, which he still made because he had like a 12 attack. But you got to try, right? Um, but anyway, I did the same thing. I carried uh, Shadow King out with Oracle. Uh, he didn't know that uh, Shadow King doubled his range to a 10 whenever he used mind control. So he accidentally ran Cyclops up and... Uh, into range, so I mind controlled Cyclops with um, Shadow King, and also uh, something I'm saying in case you guys are like, oh, what, uh, you know, click this uh, mind control thing. You, you know, you take feedback damage. He does not take feedback damage uh, when he does that, and also his powers can't be uh, countered by people that don't have mind control. So that was something else that was good too. He tried out wit stuff with him. And since Cyclops didn't have mind control, he couldn't do it. So I mind controlled Cyclops, uh, made him attack his Deathlock that he was adjacent to already. Uh, he hit him for five. And then, what else did I do? I TK'd out Sauron, critical missed with it, of course. So he took a click. And then Deathlock beat up Sauron. And then... What else happened? And then it was just a all-out war from there, just trying to position so that uh, you know his Cyclops couldn't get retaliated against. And um, that was it. Ended up KOing uh, Deathlock, and I think he was on his last. Sauron was on his last click, and uh, Shadow King was getting pretty well beat up um, because I would base Cyclops. Uh, with Shadow King thinking like, okay, he's only going to be able to do one at a time. He made every one of his breakaway rolls. So, like, I'd base him, he'd roll, he'd break away, running shot, attack me, and then since I was adjacent to somebody normally, they'd take the damage for his special on his attack, which I had no idea he did that. He's, I really like that chase figure after playing against it. That's probably the one that I want the most. Um... So it ended up that uh, at the end of the day, Sauron got KO'd in that game. Uh, Shadow King got KO'd in that game. And that was really my fault that that happened because what happened was is I had him positioned and her positioned in a square behind him. And then I running shot, ran, running shot with uh, Polaris and I blocked off uh, Oracle's line of sight, not paying attention. And then whenever he went to attack Shadow King, I couldn't PC it. And I think he only had like a 9 attack. So he needed to roll like a 7 or an 8. So it would have been, you know, behoove me to try to PC it. But I blocked it off. So he got KO'd. So then it was just Polaris and uh, Oracle. And by that time I had uh, Cyclops knocked off all of his move and attack powers. So you had to choose one or the other. So basically I'd wait till he got to where he couldn't move anymore. And then... Uh, Running shot, regular attack with Polaris, Oracle right there to back her up. And then at that time I had Oracle on her, what is that, click three? Where she has a pulse wave for, it's only one damage, but it's pulse wave. So, I was going to do that. I only had a nine on Polaris whenever I was attacking his uh, last click, which is a 16. So it's like, well, you know, if I d don't make it. I have PC, and then I have that one damage pulse wave to KO. Ended up getting the job done with Polaris. I think she was on, she was like way down in her dial. She was on click four. Uh, maybe she wasn't down as far as I thought she was. But st still, or no, click three. She was on click three because she still had, uh, oh, if I can add here. I'm sorry, she was on click five. Because she had running shot and energy explosion. She'd lost TK. That's where she was. So, that was a really tough match. That guy played good. Uh, there's nothing you can do like if somebody's dice are hot. So, that went pretty good. Third match. Played up against um, Phantom X. Uh, the prime of Deathbird. I can't think of her name right now. Uh, Colossus. 
and Mirage. And that stupid Phantom X was such a pain the whole time. It was ridiculous. Um, you know, it did the same things I did in the other games. Waited for somebody to come in close. TK'd out Sauron to try to get some quick hits. Um, as hot as my dice were in the game uh, before that, they went absolutely cold. I couldn't do... I couldn't... Uh, hit water if I was throwing something at the ocean. It was just bad. Even with PC, I couldn't get it done. Um, so Sauron got KO'd real early. He, he, like, I ran him out there, I think he missed, and then, um, so he used his EVA token to outwit Sauron's defense, and then range combat exported him with, uh, Phantom X. So then what I did was I repositioned with Oracle and Shadow King and mind controlled Phantom X to uh try to basically take out his own team. Um So that's how that worked. Shadow King got knocked around a lot. He ended up on his clicks with like outwit. So I um outwitted Colossus's defense and then range combat experted with uh the mind controlled Phantom X to KO uh, Colossus. And then he kept trying to base my guys with uh, the EVA token so I like, couldn't uh, attack Phantom X or um, the Prime of Deathbird. That Deathbird Prime is pretty good. Um, he should have, my opponent should have got a little more mileage out of her. I don't think he realized how good she was. But uh, I ended up KOing her with Polaris. It ended up pretty much being a one on one fight, her versus Polaris. And Polaris just gave her, I think, two stiff shots, and that was about it. Um, so then it was just uh, Phantom X versus these three guys, and it was it was pretty brutal. Um, he got Shadow King all the way down to his last click, and I think Oracle wasn't doing too good either. She was on like her last click that had PC, and Polaris was on her second click. So she had like a 9 attack with 3 damage. So I, you know, if he would have been KO'd, I probably still could have pulled something off. But, um, Shadow King had one token on him. I'd already attacked with everybody else. I was like, you know what? I know Phantom X is on like his last click. So I'm just gonna try to, try to roll this crit, try to roll a hit. Made my roll, pushed Shadow King to death. Uh, knocked out, um, Phantom X and won the tournament. So overall, I really like the people I used on my team. Shadow King, I will definitely Viver pull him again for sealed. I'll run him. He's he's ridiculous. He's one of the best mind control pieces I've seen in a long time. Uh, 122 points. He's a little hefty, but man, does he! You get mileage and mileage and mileage out of him. He's good. He's a good tie up piece. Um, you know, because a lot of teams don't sport mind control, you know, unless you're in, like, hyper-competitive where everybody has Brother Voodoo. But, you know, he has a, a wicked defense. He can mind control, doesn't take feedback damage, can't have his powers uh, countered unless the person has mind control. It's just ridiculous. And then he has um, some support powers peppered in there, like uh, Perplex and Outwit. And, you know, Late Dial... His stats drop off, but his damage really picks up. You know, in the first half of his dial, all he has is ones, and then it creeps up to a two, three, and then his last two clicks are fours. So, you know, he's not able to break too many damage reducers by himself. He's supposed to just kind of sit back there and mind control people into position. Oracle, I would definitely run again. For 49 points, she carries, she's a taxi. You know, she's a pretty decent taxi. She has Barrier, and I got all kinds of mileage out of Barrier, especially in that uh, first match that I had where it was just a position battle. So I would do something that Barrier so he couldn't retaliate, really. Um, so you got that, and then you got PC. So that's really helpful. And then Late Dial, even if it's only for one or two damage, she has um, Pulse Wave which is really helpful, and she does have mind control. I don't know how much I'd use it. I ended up not using it with her at all just because I didn't want her to take feedback damage. Uh, 
Sauron I liked. The first match I played with him, I saw his top click, I think, three or four separate times. So it's it's pretty good. I wish he had something other than that uh, Invincible on the top click because basically that means he's getting knocked off the top click as soon as he gets on there if you don't make your shape change roll. Um, but I definitely felt like other than the third match, I got his points out of him in the first two games. So I liked him. Polaris, um, I liked her for the, the TK. I wanted to use her special on her damage so bad where she can TK an opposing figure and they take her damage minus one. Uh, just to like TK somebody next to Sauron, then they take on her top dial, she has four damage. So they take three damage, you know, before they reduce or anything. And then Sauron would be able to attack them. I want to, I want, you know, sort of use her to spoon feed Sauron. I never got to do that. But I like her. On the right team, she could be useful. She's a little hefty, but I, re I really like TK pieces, and she's a flyer and whatnot. So she's, she's pretty good. So that's all I have for you guys today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so she can be the first to view my Heroclix video uploads as they happen. And until then, please remember that it's only a critical miss if you don't have probability control.